just look these over. We have a large variety of quality woods to choose from. We also have eco-friendly models, which have become quite popular. We'll have to think about it. I understand. Have you decided whether you want an open or closed casket? I, I really haven't had a chance. Sweetheart, it's whatever you want. About the flowers, do you have a florist you prefer? If not, we can recommend. Can we just have a minute? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. It'll take all the time you need. Well, look at us. We're sitting in this office looking at these. Surrounded by God knows what's in this cabinet. I mean, Colleen would hate this. We all hate it, but it has to be done. Yeah, but if we have to say goodbye, it... can't we just do it in a way that honors the woman that Colleen was, not some morbid tear fest? That's a perfect idea, Billy. Will you handle it? <clears throat> No trace. I've never done anything like this. You can do it. Nobody knew Colleen better than you did. Yeah, you know, even when she was in New York or if you were in Hong Kong, that connection was always there. She deserves a send off, especially as she was. I give it to her, Billy. There's no one I would trust with this more than you. And Billy has taken over the planning of Colleen's memorial service. Oh, that's great. Means a lot, little brother. What do you got planned? Oh, well, nothing too generic. CC was too unique for that. Yeah, that she was. Hey, listen, before I forget, I just saw Ashley. She has decided once she gets faith settled into a regular routine, she's coming back to Jabot. That must make you happy. Oh, happy. It makes me ecstatic. All the Abbott siblings back where they belong. Now, if we could just get Tracy to stop writing books and come back to GC, <laughs> we'd be great. Jack, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Um, you guys excuse us? Thanks. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Jack, I was going to wait to tell you this till after CC services, but um, I've made my decision. I'm going to resign from Jabot. Look, Jack, I, I just need something that's mine, not Dad's, not yours. Okay, uh, be honest with me. What is this really about? Is this doing what you normally do? You're running away? I'm not running, Do Jack. you have any idea how many guys your age would kill for the job you have? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Billy here is talking about leaving the family company, walking away from job security, leaving a multi-million dollar company. Our father spent his lifetime building for what? So you can run away and join the circus? I'm pretty sure that's not what he had in mind. Billy, we all lost Colleen. We're all emotional right now. This is no time to be making rash decisions. This isn't a rash decision, Jack. I've been thinking about this for quite some time now. Would you try to talk some sense into him? I support Billy, if this is what he wants. Well, let's see how that works for you when he's back in his old bar stool at Jimmy's every night. Keep the job. So no black tomorrow. Nope. Screw tradition. Colleen would definitely approve of that. Yeah, she would. The girl is a rebel. Hey, you know what, Billy? You could have called me and told me about the service. Oh, what? Miss on the munchkin? No way. You OK? Yeah, you know. Um, Jack and I got into it again. About what? He's pissed because I'm going to resign from Jabot. And, and I know what you're going to say. I just haven't been happy there in a long time. And right now, I really need something I need to be passionate about. And who knows, maybe I can come back and work with you guys. But right now, I, I got to go. I understand. You do? I do. I know what it's like to convince yourself that you love something with all your heart, only to realize that it wasn't love at all. It was obligation. So. Go follow your own path and make yourself happy, and we'll all be there for you, even Jack. I promise. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'd love to stay, but I've got to get back to the house. 
Okay. So, okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> Hey, hold up. Look, I shouldn't have been that rough on you earlier. Just let's do it later, okay? Right now, the only thing that counts is planning CeCe's memorial. Agreed. Okay, everything is set at the party store, and we can pick up our order first thing in the morning. I called everybody on the list. Told them to dress colorfully. Tracy, are you okay with this type of service? I mean, if it makes you uncomfortable, I can... I can... Oh, no, Billy, it's perfect. I was just thinking about Dad. What about him? You know, this family's been through so much this last couple of years. First, we lost Daddy, and then Brad, and now Colleen. And it's just a wonder we haven't fallen all apart. Well, what's that old saying? When the going get tough, the tough get going. Billy, it's really true. I, I could be curled up in a ball somewhere. But instead, we're planning a party, a celebration of Colleen's life. It's given me something to hope for. I think it's giving all of us something to hope for. And, you know, I can just see Dad <laughs> looking down on us, you know, with Brad and Colleen at his side, saying, way to go, kids. <laughs>